In this video, we'll explore how to use Gale in context opposing viewpoints to look for topic ideas for a persuasive speech or persuasive paper. The reason that this is one of the databases we recommend for this is because it's geared around controversial issues, um, similar to our database points of view reference center. To get to Gale in context opposing viewpoints, when you are on the library page in Wired, you actually want to click Michigan eLibrary, not the name of the database. So when you do that, it will take you to the Michigan eLibrary's eResources page, Michigan eLibrary or MEL for short. And if you scroll down to this alphabet shortcut, go to the first letter of the database you're looking for, so G for Gale. And then after clicking it, you can scroll down to find Gale in Context Opposing Viewpoints. We already have that open, so I'm just gonna jump to that window. And this database may look familiar to some of you. You may have used a similar database called Gale in Context College. So this is the exact same user interface. It should feel very comfortable to you if you've used the other database. Just like that one has uh, a place that says browse topics. In this case, they call them issues, but same idea. You click here, you get a full list of issues or topics that you can use. There is a similar link to browse all the issues down here. If you wanted to, you could go to one of these subject categories. If, for example, you decided you were really interested in topics related to science, technology, and ethics. You could click that and it's going to limit you to just those related topics or issues. If you go back, again, we could click on browse issues instead and that will just take you to their full list of issues that you could scroll through and just see if anything jumps out at you, looks interesting, might be a potential topic for you. Once you do have one that you're interested in, let's say electric and hybrid electric vehicles and cars, we'll click on that. Up at the top, you have this overview that's going to give you some background information about the topic. This is a great place to start because it's hard to really kind of decide what argument you want to make if you don't really know that much about your topic to begin with. So it's a good idea to get this background information. It will also help you to find possible search terms to use in another database, something like ProQuest Central or OmniFile. You could also in this database, by the way, go to the search box or go to the advanced search. It's just the way these are set up, it's kind of nice to use the topic list and go through it that way. So if you click read more under the overview, you'll get all this background information. And it also gives you some things like listing main ideas. If you scroll down a little further, there are these critical thinking questions. This overview and specifically the critical thinking questions can really be helpful as you're trying to formulate your argument and, and your thesis statement. So these are really some things to look for to kind of help you with that. Some of the topics will also have a pros and cons list, which also will be helpful with formulating your argument and also finding some counter arguments that you might want to address. Now, if we go back up, let's go back to our main issues page here and you'll see that there's a, a navigation box here so that you could jump to a certain type of source. If you are required to use any peer reviewed sources or scholarly sources, what you're going to want is to click on academic journals. Although you could also just scroll down the page and you see all of these sources are arranged by type. So you could find where we have the academic journals.